No, but I, I love those dudes. Yeah. Back in the day. What's up? But, uh, what was it? Valley Stream, that's right. Mm -hmm. Used to run their locals every week. I used to always tune into that. The MK9, I'm going to guess? Yeah, MK9. I got to play? Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, good luck, Sage. Thank you. I'm sure someone else will be popping on here in a sec. So we got, yeah, it looks like Lazy's opponent is Killjoy. And Killjoy, real good player, of course, but you know, doesn't really have the ability to make it out to all that many locals. He's been coming to a lot more lately, which is great. It's great to see him. Got a few characters, few different teams he likes to play. Of course, Lazy, still rocking the Fortune Eliza, as he always has. And looks like it'll be against Eliza Double. That's interesting. I don't know that I've seen this combination before. I wonder if he's got some setups for us. That would be amazing. This battle is all right, game one. Let's rock. Hold it. Never mind. Something's wrong. Oh, something with the buttons. Repicking all the characters. Hmm. Oh. It's a completely different team now. Whoa, he even changed the ratio. All right, I saw a Napalm shot, I saw a Dive of Horus. That other stuff kind of went by a little too quick for me. You are so mystery. Me out. Very excited. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Okay, Lazy does like to round start DP a lot. He can make it safe with the assist. Just backs off there, trying to get a feel for Killjoy at the start here. Ooh, the fuzzy doesn't convert off it. That's kind of a weird conversion. Keeps it going, nice. Missed the first reset, gets the second. Second chances, and I think that's actually going to be it for Eliza. I mean, he certainly has the meter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, okay, he does have it. Yeah, he actually called his assist quite a few times. That assist does cost meter to use. It's unique to Eliza's assist, a few of them. But one of the reasons this team is so good, Fortune just builds so much bar, you usually, like, it's, you usually get away with it. It's a great assist, too. Oh man, Killjoy, kind of not getting to play. I already used a jab once. I mean, I think he knew he used a jab once. I don't think he knew what stage of IPS he was at. Whoa. Okay, good empty jump by uh, Lazy. Doesn't get to punish that reversal, but that's three bars for Parasol. And that was, uh, that is that level three is a game changer. So it's great that that bar is gone. It's great that character is gone. It's all going to be up to Fukuo. Got to watch out for that level 3 from Fukua now. A lot, you can option select a lot of her reversals, but level 3 you have to respect. All right, resets her in the air so he doesn't have to worry about it. Smart stuff. Diablos is looking on point right now. Right, so we're going to see a switch from uh, Killjoy. I think this is actually... This is actually pretty typical. Normally, uh, Killjoy between games, if he has the opportunity, he, uh, he'll switch to one of his other teams. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think you like to, you know, have a team. Like, if you play multiple teams, just have a team in mind. Like, I will play this against this sort of person. But at the same time, it, it's possible Killjoy is just kind of feeling it out. You know, not really sure which, uh, which team is best to fight Fortune Eliza. It's, it's a unique team that causes a lot of problems. It's very good at beating DP assists, which are really common. Uh, because the team actually You're touch of death's assists for two bars. So if he gets a happy birthday, he usually doesn't even have to snap. Just does his normal combo. So we're going point double, it looks like. Uh, team Bez casual? No, he has uh, different assists. Oh yeah, you gotta be so careful with those assist calls against Lazy. Ooh, nice. I, I always think of that as Lazy's reset. I don't know if he invented it, but I certainly see him doing it the most. A very tricky cross-up. Wow, nice. That last hit. And that's huge because he gets the kill for no meter, which lets him use that assist more. Yep, and the assist has armor. It's a lockdown assist with armor. It does a lot of chip, too. Amazing assist. Nice side switch from Killjoy. He's getting in there now. Ooh. 
So he, he committed to a string, realized that the skeleton was out. Skeleton has hyper armor, goes for the snapback to break the armor. That was a uh, good reactions by Diablos. So I mean, again, Anchor Fukua. Again, she has three bars. Got to watch out for that. Converts without taking the head off. That's great. Ooh, all right. Oh, man. Just the range of that uh, Fortune Crouching Light Kick. It's really good to just dash up and do it. It'll beat out a lot of buttons. Not sure what Killjoy got counter hit out of by that Light Kick, but we'll never know now. Going on to game three. Looks, Looks like, like Killjoy's uh, comfortable with this team. He did do better than he did in game one, so you can definitely see sticking with it. I'm not sure we saw the Puko assist. Oh my god, the skeletons are battling! Oh, that was cool. They did a lot of damage to each other. They were, did you see that? They were just going at it. Duking it out. Uh, again, just another run-up crouch light kick. Great tool that this character has. Gonna call the assist at the end there for a little more damage just to ensure he only needs one bar to kill. Oh, nice. Yeah, normally that attack causes a, a soft knockdown. You can just tech it, but if you kick them into the assist, you get to actually combo. Killjoy now on the offensive. Goes for the tick throw. Running out of on Dizzy. Oh, this is awful. This is what you never, ever want to see against Lazy's team. Yeah, he's actually going to DHC to level 3, I think. Yep. Is this going to hit weird on an assist? That was a little weird. But he got as many hits as he needed. Brief cameo from Dr. Sub-Zero. Right in there with the laugh. And Lazy, 3-0, moving on in the bracket. Good stuff from Lazy Diablos. Still here 